Today I want to talk about one of my favorite farming strategies. I've spent many a leagues talking about this, and as you can see on the screen before you, I have been making a absolute killing. Now, if you haven't figured it out already, we are going to be spending the day talking about essences. Essences, to me, are one of my favorite mechanics to do. I love running essences. I have plenty of videos talking about essences. And this league, I want to talk about the way that I've currently been handling essences and what my overall plan is. The reason I am making this video is not only because these essences have been selling, but over the last you know, a couple of hours before I started recording, I, I grabbed a couple of snapshots from Wealthy Exile. Wealthy Exile told me originally that I had 20 divs worth of essences and 3.1 divs worth of smaller essences. I then converted my essences using Harvest, which we'll talk about, into good essences. It then re-snapshotted and told me I had 43 divines worth of essences and 2.4 divs worth of essences. I then started listing all of my essences for the various prices that you see on the screen before you. And they just started selling. You know, I, I listened to sell. I went and got, did some stuff. I, you know, made dinner, the whole nine yards. And all my essences pretty much have just been selling. And like you can see right now, even this order right now for my misery essences are one to 47. And it's next up in line to sell. But we'll talk about the exchange and stuff like that. As far as the snapshot that you just saw that said I had 43 divines worth of essences for sale, you see the amount that I have selling here right now. And in my essence tab, I still have all of these essences that I have to sell. I just wasn't able to fit them all into the currency exchange because you can only have 10 sales at a time. And when they started selling and they started selling fast, I wanted to leave them in here for the videos to showcase to you guys that they are indeed selling and they aren't selling for these crazy prices. Like, like it's happening and I can prove it. Now, essences are very unique and very interesting. And I wanna talk about the two different types of ways to run essences or like the, the two major ways. First off, essences were recently changed. Back in the day, we used to do them in white tier maps. Those were the best way to do essences. Essences do not scale with map tiers or did not. Now, currently, to get the highest tier of essence that you can run, you do them in yellow tier maps. By yellow tier maps, I mean like any map that is like tier six or greater. So like you have your ramparts, your you know, your coral runes, or if you put a void stone in, you know, your maps start turning yellow. You know, pretty much anything six, seven, eight, nine, and ten would be the ideal now a lot of people like running strand you can actually do a tier six strand but for me and what we're going to be doing today and talking about today is we're going to be running very specifically underground c now we're doing underground c because it has the highest number of base mobs in the map and we really want to take advantage of that Underground C really interesting is actually without any scarabs in it is a tier 10. It is a tier 10 map and with void stones in it is a tier 16 map. It doesn't matter if you run a tier 10 or if you run it at tier 16. If you run it at tier 10, everything's good to go. You are fine. There's no downside to it. If you can handle tier 16, it increases the amount of rewards that you get, including ziggurat maps and good beasts. And we're going to talk about the beast in a minute. Pretty much the plan for our essences is we're running underground C because it has the biggest number of mobs in the map. And then we're going to be doing it with the essence scarab of calcification. Pretty much the plan is to take the map, add as many rare monsters and natural rare monsters into the map as possible and calcify them into essences. This will give us like tons and tons and tons of essences. And you'll see that when we run a map. So to do that, to take advantage of it, we're going to be adding in Ritual and we're going to be adding in Beast. Both Beast and Ritual mobs can be calcified with that Scarab, meaning that when we open a map with Beast and we open a map with Ritual, all of those mobs will be encased in Essences and we'll see that. So our Atlas is pretty straightforward. We take pretty much all of the Essence nodes, we're taking majority of the Beast nodes, and we're taking enough Ritual nodes to guarantee us that we get Ritual in the map. Now with Beast, we're going to be taking the additional Yellow Beast because Yellow Beast can get captured into the Essences. We're gonna have the chance to replace our Beast with Red Beast. If you're doing tier 10s or 16s, you still want this, this is very relevant because you want to be adding in Good Beast to your profit. I haven't even begun to look at Good Beast that I've gotten yet. 
You want to make sure that you have a 100% chance for Einhart. You want your beast to be the less common variety. And you want to be hunting Krakic Camaros because they're in abundance or like they're heavily needed right now. So with this strat and being in yellow maps, you have an okay chance at Krakic Camaros and you get a lot of essences and you get a lot of yellow beasts. Now we'll talk about the yellow beasts in a minute. If you have a juicer build and you can handle tier 16s and you want to do it in tier 16, you also get to add the of the wilds and this will give you your vivid vultures, your bears that let you do the suffixes can't be changed, your black morrigans. It pretty much increases your beast pool a lot. So like if you can run 16s, you have access to more red beasts that'll make you a ton of profit. I actually have a regex for you that I'll put in the description down below and you guys will be able to um check your beast while you're running so you can see that like i've gotten a crank of camaro i've gotten a spider there's a feral right there the regex actually doesn't fit everything so you've got to like add two regexes or search for the beast but i'll give you everything that you need like, you know in the description down below so don't even worry but the two major ways that your atlas tree can be set up is one just like this we don't take this node. This makes the red beast way too difficult. We don't want to add the extra level of difficulty. Sure, it'll be nice to have the extra chance to not use the capture the beast of the beast theory if we're doing things, but we're not really too worried about it. So don't honestly take this note. It's not worth it. The second thing with essences is you have to decide on you if you want to run crystal resonance or not. At the current moment, I am not taking this node. I'm not taking this node for one very specific reason is I want to corrupt my essences and upgrade them. And if I take this node, I can't upgrade and corrupt my essences. Essentially, this node says that for every essence that I kill, the end map boss is steals an essence and becomes like a ginormous, huge, ultra dangerous essence mob, which is great. And it drops a lot of essences but it doesn't let us upgrade and corrupt our essences. And you'll see when we run the map in a minute why we want to corrupt and upgrade our essences. Essentially, the TLDR without running the map is these essences right here, these corrupted essences can only come from remnants of corruption and they can only come when we add the scarab to use a remnant of corruption to transform our essences. These essences by themselves are worth about six to a div, essence of horror about five to a div, while the other major essences that are selling are 47, 35, 19, 32. So when you're running your map, essentially any time that you corrupt an essence with remnants of corruption and you hit any of these, it's the same thing as actually looting multiple essences at a time. Now, the really cool thing about essences is there's a lot of essences that aren't worth keeping and there's a lot of essences worth converting. And the easiest way to showcase this and explain this is We'll run a map, we'll get some essences, we'll grab some bad ones, and then I'll showcase to you guys what I mean about converting and upgrading them. So I know I'm doing a lot of yapping pre-map, but I just want to like set the stage a little bit and let you guys know what you're in for and how this will work. Now, when we go into our map, there's going to be a couple of things that we're going to want. We're going to want a bunch of remnants of corruption because we're going to want to corrupt our maps, and we're just going to want to roll and set our maps up the way that we want them. Now, I have a full tab of maps here that I want to run. And you can see the maps are rolled with increased number of rare monsters. If you choose to min max this strategy, rolling your maps for increased number of rare monsters will give you more rare monsters on the map and rare monsters are the ones that are calcified. So there's actually a regex for this and I'll include this also in the description down below. And it is this right here, which is, um, <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. Quotation and you quotation. You see all of my maps have this. I originally started alt spamming my maps and then I got a little frustrated and then I started alt spamming my maps. Ideally, you just want to alt spam your maps. You don't want to alt spam your maps. You don't want to make these harder than they need to be. There's no reason to make these harder than they need to be. Just run them simple, easy, and straightforward. Now, in terms of like, are we making profit per map? How much is this costing? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a snapshot right now of my wealthy exile. You see, if I go to snapshots, I minus a bunch of divines and a bunch of this and a bunch of that. We'll run a map. We'll take another snapshot. At the time of recording, the essence scarab of calcification is roughly four to a divine. So they're about 0.25 divs a map. The rest of the scarabs are pretty much free. This one is 160 to a div. This one's 63 to a div. This one's 85 to a div. 
and this one's 62 div so this is the only scarab that cost you any kind of currency and the remnants of corruption they're like 56 to 70 to a div like it's bro it's free to run this the other major cost comes when we do the harvest part and we'll talk about that in a minute now I had mentioned we're doing the Essence Scarab of Calcification. This is the one that's going to put all of our rare monsters into an Essence. We're going to be using this so that we can use our Remnants of Corruption to corrupt our maps. We're going to be using this so that all of the Essences in our map are found a tier higher. This will allow us to find Deafening Essence naturally. We're going to be using this because this will give us eight packs of mobs or four additional packs that are mirrored with additional rares. So this will give us eight extra Essences. And then we're going to take this for five additional beasts. Now, if you want, you can actually like put this into this and have eight additional packs but i was talking to the shotokin and i was talking to a couple other people it's actually like a lot better to do the the hurting scarab so you can actually just get rid of this all together and do double hurting scarabs because what happens is, is when you do this like this and you go here and you run this this is four which is eight and this is four which is eight so that makes 16 so this is 16 rare mobs when i do it like this with the herding scarab this is actually 10 plus the natural beasts that are on the map plus the beast that it doubled so this becomes actually more overall beast on the map than if i were to do this now the reason i have the map tab like this currently is to showcase that if you were doing this in a tier 10 map scenario you would want to run it like this if you were doing this in a tier 16 map scenario and you cared about the red beast like i do you're going to want to be setting it up like this and i just kind of wanted to you know give you guys a tab show you guys a tab that was all set up and how it's running and what it's going to look like now i was never a big fan of setting up my maps and you know getting my map tabs ready and doing oh god i didn't mean to do that i just put everything away like a oh i'm dumb oh god i was never actually a fan of setting up my map tab to like be ready to go ahead of time you know i never i never i was i was never this guy man you know you know the guy that like does this that rolls all their maps that gets everything ready to go i, I was never this guy man but i'll tell you this is great if you have one of these like basics tabs which you should you set up all your maps you roll them with nu you get all your scarabs you set it all up and boy howdy does this make your life really 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 simple essentially what you do is you set everything up you grab your scarabs that you're going to be running so you do this grab 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 your map come over here put your scarabs in make sure that you're on your correct atlas throw your map in and come down here to essence and click on essence now I know somebody's gonna be like, hey man, you talked about the beast scarab, you talked about the adversary scarab. Why aren't you running the basic essence scarab? Now, the basic essence scarab only gives you two additional imprisoned monsters. This, like I mentioned, is two packs of four, or is a pack of four that doubles to eight, and this gives you more red beast. I like the red beast. I like pulling out red beast. I also really like pulling out yellow beast. Yellow beasts are like insane and they're like really expensive. It's like disgustingly expensive to like sell yellow beasts and if you guys didn't know this you can actually now sell yellow beasts in bulk on the trade website you can actually come over here go to bulk exchange and then there's a tab down here for beast and then there should be one that says yellow let's put yellow in here right there it's the first option select divine and then hit search and you can see it is 35 beasts for a divine and this isn't even in bulk this guy only is 116. so once you start getting into like bulk numbers like this guy's got 800 so it's two divs for an inventory i know somebody's gonna be like i don't want to package up base base barn but i'll show you how to do that if you choose to do that but it, it gets really expensive really quick to package up beast so let's stop yapping and let's open a map if you want to track in a map the kind of beast that you're getting what you could do is you can open up a map go into your underground C, press h go to beast theory come down to captured beast type anything and then you can close this tab for now and then when you come over here and you kill the beast and it dies eventually beasts are really difficult in tier 16s when it dies and einhardt captures it 
it'll actually showcase here and once eventually when you learn with the good beast are with the bad beast are you can actually delete these beasts out now while you're doing this map you're going to see that there's essences that are going to be corrupted and essences like we just did that were uncorrupted and you're going to want to make a decision on when to corrupt your essences and when not to corrupt your essences the major thing that you're going to want to do is first you're going to want to evaluate your essence usually if the essence has about four or more essences on it i personally like to corrupt them especially if it's a bunch of shriekings i want to convert shriekings up to deafening if possible the other thing that you want to look for is you want to look for essences that either have these pink icons see these pink icons right here these are the med essences m-e-d-s these are your miseries your envies your scorn and your deaths pretty much what happens is, is when i take my remnant of corruption and i click on it it has the opportunity to change the essence of horror now you see this one didn't change and this one changed this one is five to a div right so by getting this to change and this one to upgrade we essentially just made insane profit on this horror essence and it works out and ends up being really good now like i said beasts in themselves they're pretty much a pain in the ass to kill at tier 16 so i like to drag them with me i'm playing a nice juicer build and it pretty much just like i could just like bring them with me now you'll get some essence mobs like this that have a screaming and a weeping you can I wouldn't corrupt this one. I don't think it's worth it. It's only a screaming and a weeping. I will pick them up though, because I will upgrade all of my essences and do all that fine jazz. And then we just come through. You see that yellow beast didn't get captured, but this one got captured. This one's already three deafening. There's no pink ones here. There's no reason to do anything to it. And then we bring this one over here and the same thing here. So we have shrieking and screaming. This one has four essences on it. We click it this one upgraded that one didn't upgrade and then we get some more essences over here and we can just pretty much go about our business and live our day there's another pink one right there that's the envy we click it it went to deafening which is really 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 nice envies are worth a good amount of currency and we're relatively happy with the results one of the cool things to note too about this map is that Thanks to GGG changing the way that div cards work, if we were to look at Underground C and we hold Alt on it, we see that it drops Divine Beauty and it can drop from any map, any monster in this map, which is actually really, really, really nice. And you actually have a pretty good chance of like dropping Divine Beauties. When I was doing this the other day on stream, I actually dropped a couple of Divine Beauties. I was really shocked. I had thought they had only come off the boss. But since that's been changed, it no longer comes only off the boss and it can drop from anything. And that's, dude, that's pretty freaking awesome, if you ask me. See, that mob just immediately died right away. Penance Brand is cracked and crazy. This, this, this build has been insane. If you're wondering what I'm playing, I'm playing a charge stacking Penance Brand character. There's actually a video on my YouTube. I'll put a link in the description, you know, the whole link down below. And you guys can click on that and check out the build if you want to check it out. And then you see there's a dread a contempt you know we're just going to try to upgrade these that they all went to shrieking which is really nice we're going to drag the mobs with us this way these have four on it we're going to upgrade these we're going to skip the ritual and we're not going to do the ritual the essence mobs with the essences can't go into the ritual you only really do the ritual if you want to do the ritual it's just something that you enjoy you're more than welcome to do the ritual the ritual is going to slow you down these maps without my yapping they're pretty quick you can actually burn through these maps relatively quickly especially doing these in tier 10s you can kill these maps really quick the thing that's going to take a minute to do is going to be the essence is that are beast you know einhardt takes a minute he's a little slow if you want to pick up the pace a little bit what you can actually do is you can grab this one right here einhardt will have increased capture rate you can actually take a point out of almost like anything you can actually grab this point right here and you could put this in here and this will like actually speed up the rate that he captures the beast which is going to be really nice but if you don't really care or they don't have good essences on them and you're just like looking to move it then you could just like skip the bad ones but i don't know i haven't been skipping them i don't think they're worth skipping you know you invest all this time you might as well capture them and see what happens and you can see too we're still you know we're capturing all our, our mobs here we can see that we haven't really got any good ones except this one that one's okay I mean, you know, you just go about your business and you like live your life, right? You just, you know, you just take a little peek, see poo, you grab some deafening, some scorns, a couple of suffering, come over here. Here's another pink one. We click this, didn't convert. We feel bad. 
we got all oh, our inventories full xd <laughs> there's another pink one we click we got an insanity bro let's go there's another deafening we click on these we loot all these our inventory's full feels bad we're gonna come we're gonna dump everything now we're gonna we're gonna take a look at how much we made after this map and we're going to talk about a couple of things that determine the profitability of the map and how it kind of happens now there's something that you need to know when you run these maps there's a couple of things one if you get a bunch of deafenings and shriekings you are going to make more profit on your map versus if you get a bunch of wailings two your profit ahead of time is a lot quicker and easier if you manage to roll a bunch of purple essences pink essences or any of the good essences if say your map is all like essences of doubts you're gonna make less per map but we make up the less per map later on when we re-roll our essences which we're going to talk about in a second so we did our map we kill our map boss we leave we go about our business oh if you want to know by the way if you've killed them all and you've gotten everything this will tell you so see how this is more than 50 remain i i know that's more than 50 remain because i didn't click any of the altars but if you're not doing these in tier 16s and you don't have to worry about the altars then that will like tell you that there's no mobs left or very few mobs left because they're all captured in essences so like you know see we see we run around here they're all gone as long as this tells you that you're less than mobs like you've pretty much gotten everything but since we didn't do like any of our altars because we're trying to save time it doesn't it doesn't tell us that now we dump all of our essences in we want to see what we did if we made any money was it worth the 0.2 divs for a map we check our snapshot we see where we're at we see we're at 7.6 and 2.4 we refresh because this is what we've done and we're at 8.5 and 1.9 so we come over to the snapshot we take a look we're plus 129 here and minus 74 those are the essences that we upgraded so we've made what is that like 0.7 of a div that 0.7 of a div that was that is what are divs right now divs are <laughs> what happened divs are 140 150 154 we made 129 0.8 so we invested like 0.3 maybe it's pretty good man and with my yapping that was a six minute map if i wasn't yapping and i was just focusing that's like a three minute map oh that's pretty good man that's not including the yet old beast that's not including the red beast that's not including anything else that's just the bare minimum that wealthy exile just told me now how do we make the most amount of money out of what we did and what's the real kicker the screenshots that i showed you earlier that went from 20 divs to 43 divs to do this with my essences i had to roll the bad essences to good essences and that list of good essences will be in the description for you down below so essentially i did this right here i did a bunch of maps i upgraded my essence tab i made them all into deafenings and then what i did was i grabbed bad essences so this greed for example will be a bad essence so we'll put these away this would be a bad essence this would be a bad essence woes are really good fears are bad torments are bad sorrows are bad suffering's bad wraith is bad doubt is bad zeals are good uh anguish is bad and then the rest of these except for dread are good so i grab them i throw them all in my inventory i come over to the harvest bench i pop them in i get some primal life force off the marketplace i type the word essence i take this and i convert these from bad essences into good essences sometimes you hit quick like this first one and sometimes it takes a few clicks i spent 10 divs earlier to convert all of my essences over and to roll them all from bad essences to good essences now somebody's gonna be like oh my god that's not worth it then don't do it sell me your bad essences i'll do it and make a money and make money it's fine i have been telling my discord and i've been posting about this in discord all day rolling your essences from bad essences to good essences even with the cost of blue juice is 100 worth it and i could put these in right now and it's probably not enough to make an impactful difference on the cost of everything because it was so few essences but just for clarity's sake if i were to grab wealthy exile 
and I were to take another snapshot and I were to look, it says I went up 35 CN essences. I went down 22 C from, I don't know what, I guess, I guess I went down 22 from blue juice. Is that, is that what that is? Yeah. I went down 22 C in blue juice and up 35 C in essences. So I made 13 C by just clicking. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's awesome. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about and the final thing before I let you go is the menagerie. We come on over to the menagerie. We come over here. We open our stash. We see that we have some chaos and we talk to Einhardt. This is the part that people hate. People don't like this part. You can actually go purchase item and buy these little bestiary orbs from Einhardt. They're one C each. When I buy these bestiary orbs and I come here, I can actually use the couple of regexes. I can put them in and I can see the good beasts. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the good beast because this guy's really expensive and that guy's really expensive. But we're going to do this. We're going to leave that guy for a second. There are red beasts and there are yellow beasts. Red beasts have a really cool image like this one. This is to go to Feral's fur to get the den to go fight Feral and yellow bees have little squiggles. So this one that looks like it was drawn by my five-year-old, this is a yellow beast. The one that looks like it was drawn by your artist is the good beast. <laughs> Which beast they're worth money, that's the pain in the butt part. The other pain in the butt part is pulling out yellow beasts. So eventually you're just gonna be like, this beast sucks. I'm just gonna release these bad beasts. Like we don't need these bad beasts. This one's actually really good. We would save this one. This one's really bad. We would get rid of the bad beast and you should double and triple check the prices of all the beasts. The price of beasts will change all the time. Now, where you make your money from the yellow beast is literally doing this, taking this and clicking this and dragging this out. This is a pain in the butt. People hate doing this. The easiest way to do this after you remove all the red beasts that you don't want to use and you have a bunch of yellow bees is to click and drop and click and drop and click and drop and click and drop and then loot them all from the ground. It's actually a lot faster that way. And it feels a lot better. Like I said, people don't like to do that. They think it's a waste of time, but for 120 divs per two for an inventory, it takes 60 C for an inventory. I mean, you're making like four C a click, three C a click, something like that. So it's kind of worth it for me. You know, you already ran the maps. You'll know that your menagerie is getting full because while you're running the maps, Einhart, instead of talking inside of the map and saying all this stuff, he's going to be like, hey, man, your menagerie is full. Hey, man, I'm going to delete this beast. Hey, man, your menagerie is full. So as long as you keep an eye out for these like little wording things, you'll be fine. But that's it. That's what I plan to do. You guys see I have currently enough maps set up to last me for my entire next stream. I'm going to be doing these all on stream. You can come by the Twitch. You can come by the YouTube. You can check the VODs. They'll be there. I'll have run this a whole bunch of times. And if you have questions, you know, you can ask them live in the Discord. You can ask them during the live stream. You can leave comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer any kind of questions you have about this kind of strategy and what's going on. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you run them in tier 10 or tier 16. The biggest difference is, is going to be the Beast in 16s and the tier 17 maps if they drop. But yeah, that's about it. That's about everything. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope this answers some of your questions and I hope you can make a lot of money. I got a buddy in the Discord. My boy Skadoosh, he's like, he's struggling, bro. And I was like, look, this is dope. Let me make this video. Let me help you out. And here we are. But for now, friends, I hope you found this video useful and helpful. And if you did, leave a like, a comment, do all that fun YouTube stuff. And for now, friends, we'll see you all in the next one.